Hey guys, Drew here for Z Code System, coming to you with a video on the Champions League, which kicks off tomorrow on September the 6th with the first match day. And we're going to have the first match day of the uh, Champions League taking place on Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, like I said, it kicks off tomorrow on Tuesday, but we're going to go over a couple of games coming up for uh, the games this week on match day number one. Some big games that are going to be going on to start the Champions League. And if you are a soccer better or you're new to soccer betting, this is a great time of the year to get involved because the Champions League is the premier club competition in the world when it comes to soccer. So you're definitely going to be wanting to, to find out all the information you can about the teams in this year's Champions League and to put a punt down on possibly a team to win the Champions League come the end of the year when the final takes place in June of 2023, or you're going to want to take uh, a punt on those games week to week during the Champions League. So we've got the Champions League going on this week, kicking off, and as you can see here on the Z Code System blog, and as you scroll down, you can find the preview that I wrote last week for the Champions League. There it is right there. Uh, the the 2022-2023 preview outright winner odds for the Champions League. And you can go there and read up all about it. And as I scroll back up, you can see some other great information. I also posted a college football 2022 preview for this year's college football. And, of course, you don't want to miss this. The top systems to follow in September. Go over to Z Code System backslash blog right now and read up on that to know what symptom what systems i should say to follow this month all right let's get into the champions league and we're going to start off by looking at the outright winners odds for this year's tournament and as you can see there we have those outright winners odds they're from Bet365. Now, this is the day before the tournament kicks off. So this is September 5th that I'm coming to you from. So these are the odds currently, and odds will be updated throughout the group stage as we see teams start to pull away and uh, prepare for pro uh, progression to the knockout rounds and teams fall back and look to um, you know be eliminated from the Champions League tournament. Now, the favorite going into this Champions League season is Manchester City, the reigning English Premier League winners, and they are at plus 250. Now, if you've been following the Champions League over the last, I'd say, three, four, five years, then you'll know that Man City are typically the team that start the tournament as the favorites. They are bankrolled by uh, Abu Dhabi. They are uh, managed by perhaps the greatest manager in football today, in soccer today, Pep Guardiola. Uh, they have money to burn, and they have some of the best players, including Erling Holland, who they signed over the summer, who already has 10 goals in six Premier League games, and he is probably going to light up the Champions League this season because he has in the past, but now playing with Man City, it could be, uh, or he could be the difference between them winning the title and not winning the title. Now, keep in mind, Man City did lose the final of the Champions League just two years ago to Chelsea. Uh, PSG bankrolled by Qatar. They are plus 500 to win the Champions League. They're looking very good right now on the domestic front in Ligue 1 in France. They are the reigning Ligue 1 winners. And keep in mind that the World Cup will be played in Qatar later this year in November and December 2022. So PSG's owners are really going to be pushing for this team to go all the way and win the Champions League. It is the trophy they have failed to win uh, since uh, since being taken over by by the Qatari royal family or Qatari sports investment. And uh, it's the trophy that they want to win the most. So uh, this is a team to watch out for. New manager Christophe Gautier is a brilliant manager and uh, brings something to the team that previous more high-profile managers have not. Now Liverpool, who were the beaten finalists in last season's tournament, they are plus 550 to win the Champions League. That seems a little bit high to me at the moment, the way that Liverpool are playing. Bayern Munich plus 650, the reigning German champions. Real Madrid, who won the tournament last season, they are plus 900. I think that's a little bit low for Real Madrid. Barcelona plus 1400, a little bit high for me on that. They uh, they were knocked out in the, the group stage last season. They've done uh, a lot to overhaul that team. And then as you can see there, we've got Tottenham, Chelsea, Atletico Madrid, Juventus, Inter Milan, Borussia Dortmund. And to be honest, the the placement of those top six teams there by Bet365 and other sports books really shows uh, the strength of those teams in the Champions League. And I think there's quite a bit of a gulf 
when you get from Barcelona to that next tier with Tottenham, Chelsea, and Atletico Madrid. I think there's a big gulf there, and certainly we can see those top six teams being definitely the favorites. And just to have a look down at the longest shot, uh, the longest odds, Maccabi Haifa of Israel, they are plus 150,000. So if you want to waste your money and take a bet on that, then go right ahead uh, because I don't even think Haifa will be coming out of the group stage uh, in the group that they're in. All right, so we've got that, the outright winners. Now you've got a plethora of different markets to wager on for the Champions League. You can go with top goal scorer, which I'm going to go ahead and say is probably going to be Erling Holland. Uh, you can go with uh, the to reach the final outright, um, excuse me, market the to reach the final market the group betting market so you can bet individually on each group uh, you can bet on which teams will qualify for the next round and you can do uh, quite a few other things there so uh, nationality of the winners the competition special so great great markets here at bet365 now i'm sure your online sportsbook has just as many great outright markets whether you're using william hill or using uh, a number of the other great sportsbooks out there uh, definitely you're going to want to check out all of these markets because you can probably find a lot of value in some of these others. And I know, actually, I know you can find lots of value in some of these other markets. So uh, before, no, so that is a look at the outright winners markets. Now, I just want to say before we go any further, before we get on to uh, the Soccer Buddy tool, I give you some picks for this week's games. Uh one of the things that you should be aware of, if, if you're not already, the World Cup will be played in November and December of 2022. So this is going to disrupt the major leagues in Europe. So your your top leagues, such as Germany's Bundesliga, English Premier League, um, uh, Ligue 1 in France, Spain's La Liga, Serie A, um, all the, uh, the other top leagues, the Danish Super League, uh, the, the Dutch Air Divisie, all of these leagues are going to be going on hold for about six weeks. So teams will be having that little bit of time off. Now, one of the things that we're, we're seeing right now that these top teams in the Champions League are going to be doing is they're going to be playing a lot of games between now, really the, the end of August, or the sorry, I should say the beginning of August, uh, up until the first week or two of November. Now, traditionally, the Champions League is played, the Champions League group stage, that is, is played uh, up until almost Christmas time. So they'll start in September and they'll play up until Christmas time. But this year we're starting in September as usual, but every game in the group stage has to be finished by that second week of September for the World Cup, for players to go to the World Cup. So this is a sprint this year and lots of teams are going to be playing a lot of games in a very short time. I believe one of the, uh, the stats that uh, was said is... Uh, Premier League teams would be playing about 17 games in 70 or 77 days. So you're going to want to pay attention to that because that could play a lot of havoc in your betting for the Champions League. You could also play a lot of havoc in your betting for a domestic competition like the Premier League, like La Liga, like the Bundesliga. So there's going to be a lot of soccer played over the next couple of months. And these top tier teams are going to be playing a lot of games. So if they don't have a lot of depth a lot of depth in the squad, then there's going to be some issues for these teams going forward. And you know what? This might end up being the case where we see an unlikely team win the Champions League or some unlikely teams win, say, the Premier League or uh, the Bundesliga or Serie A. This could be a very strange year because of this World Cup coming up in November. All right, so let's get on to the Champions League picks that I'm going to give you today from the Z code system soccer buddy tool. And we've got some great picks. I'm going to turn on the hot trends just in case we see some, uh, some good hot trends here. And, uh, these games come to you on September the 6th. So that is tomorrow night, Tuesday, we've got, uh, Chelsea and Dynamo and excuse me, Dynamo Zagreb kicking things off here on the soccer buddy app. Now that game's going to be coming to us a little bit earlier than the other games going to be played in Croatia. And we can see there that the soccer buddy is giving us a two, two score line prediction and as you can see it says we are five for six predicting totals over 1.5 in games with Chelsea in the last six games. Now Chelsea are a bit inconsistent playing up and down right now but I have no 
qualms about Chelsea getting a win in this game. And I also like them to to get a win with 1.5 goals, over 1.5 goals, that is. So I'm sticking with the over 1.5 goals for Chelsea, but I'm changing this prediction. It's not going to be a draw, not going to be 2-2. It's definitely going to be a Chelsea win in the end. Keep your eye on Raheem Sterling to possibly get a goal in this game. Uh, Moving on to the next game, AC Milan and Salzburg. This is in the same group as Chelsea. AC Milan uh, will be visiting Salzburg. Salzburg surprised a lot of people last season. I think this game is going to be a little bit closer than you think or than we think. Um, Playing it safe on this one, I'm going both teams to score in this game, and I wouldn't be surprised if we hit that over 1.5 goals. Real Madrid and Celtic, I don't think this game is going to be too close. Real Madrid reigning Champions League winners. I think the quality is going to show in this game, and we're going to see a Real Madrid win over Celtic in this game. Uh, I can see this being about 3-1 to Real Madrid. Manchester City and Sevilla. This is a bit of David and Goliath. Sevilla not playing very well this season. They have failed to win all four of their La Liga games. Yes, they are the home team, but Manchester City is in an orbit of their own. I love Manchester City to win this game. I think this is going to be a win to nil for Manchester City, over 1.5 goals, and don't be surprised if Erling Holland gets two goals in this game, two or more goals. Holland is in fine form, 10 goals in six Premier League games this season, and in two previous matches against Sevilla while playing for Borussia Dortmund, he scored four goals and assisted two. So, like I said before, I like Holland to score in this game, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's two or more goals. Now, moving on to RB Leipzig hosting Shakhtar Donetsk. Leipzig not in good form going into this game, playing very poorly right now in the German Bundesliga, but Shakhtar Donetsk from Ukraine. Obviously, we've had all those issues with, you know, or in Ukraine this year with the war in Ukraine. Uh, I very, very much doubt that Donetsk can really uh, mount the the fight in this game that uh, would warrant a win. But do you know what? I'm going to play this one a little bit safe because I'm not really sure which RB Leipzig team is going to come out here. I don't think this is going to be a high-scoring game, and I'm going to say under 3.5 goals in this game. And then we move on to Juventus and Chelsea. Excuse me, I should say Juventus and Paris Saint-Germain playing in Paris. PSG with Messi, Neymar, and Kylian Mbappe playing up top. I love PSG to win this game. Juventus have started a bit slowly in Serie A in Italy. PSG, again, I think they're going to pick this win up, and it's going to be over 2.5 goals in this one. And then we've got our last two games on Tuesday. We've got Dortmund taking on Copenhagen, and we've got Benfica taking on Maccabi Haifa. I think those two picks there stand alone or, or, or speak for themselves. I like Dortmund to win that game against Copenhagen, and I like Benfica to beat Haifa. I think this Benfica team is really good and one to keep your eye on, not necessarily to win the competition, but to do very well in their group. All right, guys, so those are the picks for Tuesday's games in the Champions League. I'm not going to give you Wednesday's games. You're going to have to go over to Z Code System and sign up today to get those picks to use the Soccer Buddy tool and to explore and investigate the score picks for those games. But these are our picks for the matches coming to you on September the 6th. That's Tuesday night, first night in the Champions League, the first day of match day one. All right, guys, let me know what you think of our Champions League picks and predictions down in the comments below. And of course, if you've not signed up to Z Code System, go over there, sign up today so you can get all these picks from the Soccer Buddy tool for uh, for all the soccer matches, uh, from the soccer matches in the Champions League, from the Premier League, from all the top leagues in Europe or, or even around the world. Uh, and also, you'll get all kinds of systems and, and picks for all the other sports that we cover, whether it be NFL, NCAA college basketball or football, baseball, NHL hockey, NFL, and uh, NBA. So we've got you covered on all of those sports. So guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like this video as well before uh, before you before you go. And I will see you next time here on Z Code System.